This program is made possible by a grant from Judy and Stanley Frankel. It's long been my contention that a great orchestra isn't great just by what it plays or how it plays, but also by where it plays. It's hard to think of one of the great orchestras of the world without thinking about the hall in which it does play. Here in Detroit, we're very lucky. We have a fabulous hall. But how do we really explain it to people in this kind of situation? We're going to attempt that today as we look and examine our house and our home. It's all part of the process of making music. It's one thing to be in the hall, to judge the acoustics as you're listening to a concert or rehearsal. But can we actually show all of you how acoustics in this particular hall really sound? I think we can. So now we're going to do a series of tests to show us exactly how the hall is performing. Moji, what are we going to do? We are going to um, measure the sound at not only audience, seating positions, but also on the stage. To do this uh, in acoustics, uh, we have to have source, and in this case, we are using three different sources. One is what we call clappers. The second one, we use balloons. And the third one, we use a, a small cannon. Each one of these sources are giving us different portion of the frequencies of sound, and repeatabilities are fairly repeatable, so it allows me to repeat the testing over and over again if the architectural questions arises. So Moji, what is this device here? It looks like something um, my mother used to wear for her hair. Well, um, it looks like a dandelion, but actually we call them, uh, or company calls it acoustic camera. Uh -huh. And what it allows you to do is to not only direct the orientation of the microphones that you see here. There exists about 48 of them. There's another one that is about 120. But for this application, 48 is enough. And uh, what the capability of the system allows you to do is to measure the sound that is reaching from all surfaces in this stage, from all directions, to each microphone. And then, mathematically, they all get translated into a location and intensity into a computer program. And then you can visualize all the results that are measured by each one of these microphones on the computer. Okay, this um, image is showing you directly looking at the stage. This is bottom of the stage. The purple or um, the color uh, discrimination you see in the back are back of the stage. And you can actually see the panels on the walls. And um, I have the ability of rotating and looking at this in all directions, not only on this stage, but for the remainder of the hall. At the same time, uh, the program allows me to take a look at the a spectrum or other capabilities. So in here, uh, you can see I can immediately analyze the results. And then as I move through the surfaces in different levels, for each one of these areas, it gives me the spectrum of the sound. And this is the can, uh, cannon shot? Correct, yeah. This one was the cannon shot. So we can now do this for the clappers, we can do this for the balloons, or any musical instrument. So, Moji, do we have one of the best halls in the world, or what? Well, not only we do, but I also want to say that, that we have the ability now to validate that. Uh, we have a database on over 80 halls in our uh, measurements and from the past records and literature studies that we have done also based on measured data, we can now clearly show that not only Detroit uh, Hall, but at the same time, the geometry and the configuration that it has matches with a lot of great halls. <laughs> 